You always hear about the must-see places to travel to, but what about the parts of the world where you're better off avoiding? Let's take a look at all the places you should probably skip out on your world trip itinerary. Here are 23 places you shouldn't go. Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm American Eye, and I'm going to be your guest host right here on Tall Tank. Enjoy the video. <laughs> Number 23, Omayakon, Russia. You're guaranteed a white Christmas when you go to Omayakon in Russia, but that's because every day is cold enough for a snow day. This rural locality, located in the Sakha Republic, happens to be one of the coldest places in the world. One of the reasons it remains so cold is that it has to do with the two main valleys adjacent to the region. The presence of these valleys help trap in the cold temperature from the wind, bringing the temperature down. Even if you think you're averse to the cold, you still probably wouldn't go here. Number 22, the Darien Gap. If if you don't know the exact location of the Darien Gap, you can see here that it's found between Panama and Colombia. This patch of division contains a huge jungle devoid of paved roads and instead full of dangers ranging from humans to the environment. Not only will you find a sizable population of poisonous frogs and venomous snakes as well as flooding, but also a reputation for kidnappings. So best to stay away. Number 21, the Danakil Desert. Just like you wouldn't go to Omayokan if you couldn't handle the cold weather, even if you live in a desert environment, you probably wouldn't want to come to Danakil. Who wants to traverse a desert where temperatures can reach over 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius? With temperatures like that, it makes sense there's a lack of wildlife here. This makes it one of the most inhospitable places in the world. Number 20, the Pitcame Islands. No one wants to move to the Pitcame Islands. But when you look at pictures, you probably will ask yourself, why not? It looks like an interesting and even peaceful place to visit or move to. A group of islands in the Southern Pacific that should bring to mind an exotic retreat where the weather is nice and there's an abundance of space. So what's the problem? Well, here, in Britain's smallest colony, only a population of 50 people remain. When a scandal hit the island nearby 15 years ago, it damaged the reputation of those living there. Number 19, Barcelona. For those living outside of Spain, Barcelona has become one of the more well-known cities in the country. It's also the capital of Catalonia. Plus, with the popularity of their football club, it has also helped propel the success of the city's brand throughout the rest of the world. But if you're planning to take a trip here, you might want to put some reins on that. Every year, the city has to deal with enormous influx of visitors, something that only helps inflate the number of petty crimes such as pickpocketing as well as cause uncomfortable overcrowding. Number 18, Somalia. Located on the eastern coast of Africa, Somalia hasn't quite earned a reputation for being a completely safe place. In Western society, you might have seen the movie known as Captain Phillips and got really scared about ever going near a place that's known to have pirates. The country has dealt with a lot of lawlessness as a result of a struggling government. So while tourists would love to probably check out the amazing sights and unique culture, it might take a while for it to be safe enough to travel to. Number 17, Mount Cinnabung. The most recent eruption at Mount Cinnabung happened just this past month. Before modern times, the last time it was recorded in history was the 1600s. This stratovolcano sits on the Karo Plateau of North Sumatra, Indonesia. Mount Cinnabung has caused a lot of damage, panic, and concern in the last eight years or so. It has stayed ongoingly active since 2013 after its initial eruptions in 2010. Not selling you yet on why you shouldn't go here? Maybe knowing that even the people that live here have to evacuate numerous amounts of times might quell your need for volcanic adventure. Number 16, Isle of Skye. Most people would spend thousands of dollars just to travel to the Isle of Skye in Scotland to check out those famed fairy pools, like you can see in this photo. After all, the sight of it evokes something otherworldly, but he wouldn't be the only one with the idea to want to take some amazing photos at Glenbriddle. The island's infrastructure was under threat due to the hundreds and even thousands of people that crowd the area and vehicles to get to the natural wonders. And when the population gets out of control, it means the people themselves have little regard for their surroundings. This means that public urination has become a problem. Would you still go after hearing that? Number 15, Santorini. It is one of the most popular destinations for tourists to visit in Greece. And if you haven't learned by now, that's precisely why you shouldn't go there. In just 2017 alone, over 2 million people visited Santorini. Even though any huge population usually doesn't spell anything good for the environment, the main concern for such high traffic and tourism means this small island will lose that quiet peacefulness that so many people love about it. Number 14, Lake Natron. Although the idea of a lake being able to calcify the animals that touch it seems quite eerie and interesting, that should be enough for you to stay away from it. Lake Natron, located in northern Tanzania, has been known to petrify and preserve animal specimens that have come into contact with the salt and soda lake. Even with this danger, organisms such as invertebrates, fish, algae, and even flamingos have been able to survive here. With the alkalinity levels higher than 12 and the high amount of carbonate, this makes it home for species that really aren't supposed to live here. Number 13, Venice. The idea of mass tourism is enough to turn away anyone from planning a vacation there. 
After all, you want to relax while on vacation, don't you? So you're not only avoiding too many visitors, but also irritated locals. About 30 million tourists go to Venice, Italy every year, pushing the residents to move out. Number 12. Kinshasa The capital of the Democratic Republic of the Congo has a population of 11 million people, putting it in the category of megacity. Kinshasa has the third largest urban area in the whole of Africa, and even though the conflict that had been going on for decades has calmed down in the past 15 years or so, the city appears to be in need of recovery. For a while, the city was known to have a big problem when it came to tourism. Number 11. Bhutan To visit Bhutan, tourists have to pay a fee between $200 to $250, depending on how big your group is at the time. Some people say that the fee is totally worth it, and there's a lot of historical and cultural landmarks that pique a lot of people's interest. It has become a high-value destination. Concern has risen in how the increasingly popular tourism industry will affect the preservation of Bhutan. Number 10. Lake Nyos A few decades ago, people weren't even aware how dangerous being in close proximity to Lake Nyos was. Located in northwestern Cameroon, Lake Nyos has been the cause of much damage and casualties throughout the times. Because it exists in a place where there's lots of volcanic activity, substances like carbon dioxide can leak out from the ground. That gas can suffocate any breathing organism within miles. Number 9. Sana if you just look at the skyline of Sana Yenem, you'd think you'd step back in time. Sana, one of the oldest cities in the world, has been subject to a lot of political conflict and unrest, resulting in it becoming a dangerous place for Westerners in particular to visit. Number 8. Mount Everest We all know that trying to climb Mount Everest is dangerous enough, but with a horde of people trying to do the same thing, somehow, that's less safe. The increasing traffic at the highest mountain above sea level in the world has been categorized as being a dangerous amount. The overcrowding has caused officials to take a step back and enforce new regulations that will keep their risk low as the tourist traffic rises. Number 7. Rocinha Favela Lots of people have concern over planning a trip to Brazil since they hear about how dangerous it is all the time. And it's a shame since Brazil, especially Rio, has a lot of culture to offer. During the coming of the global events such as the World Cup and the Olympics, the country attempted to clean up as much crime as it could. And if you were given the guidance from an expert, there's a way to travel to Rio without too much trouble. But you should probably avoid the Rocinha Favela, the largest slum in the city. Number 6. Sahel Right below the Sahara Desert is Sahel, which stretches 3,360 miles or 5,400 kilometers from east to west from the Red Sea to the Atlantic Ocean. It gets really hot, sunny, and dry here. And that natural climate, mixed with the high amount of exploitation by humankind, has made the area a place of high drought risk and in turn famine. Number 5. Nauru To those of us not particularly, from those of us not from a particularly tropical place to live, we'd like to think that every aspect of an island in the South Pacific is just teeming with adventure. But when it comes to the island country of Nauru, you're better off finding other beach destinations. Among some other popular attractions, one of the biggest includes Old Immigration Detention Center. Number 4. Harare The leading financial, commercial, political, and trade center in Zimbabwe can be found in this capital city. Over 2 million people call this huge city home. And although the skyline looks impressive for any city, experts on the subject matter would say you should not live in Harare due to the bad economy. In 2012, it was voted as one of the least livable cities in the world out of 140 cities. Number 3. Dubrovnik If this landscape looks familiar, then you probably watch Game of Thrones. As a result, this city of Croatia's coast on the Adriatic Sea has seen thousands of people flock to its shores in the past couple years. Dubrovnik had to somehow reduce the tourist levels after UNESCO said they would have to take away the city's world heritage rights. Number 2. Ilha de Queimada Grande It might frighten you to know that there's a few snake islands all over the world, but among one of the most dangerous ones includes Ilha da Queimada, located off the coast of Brazil. This island in the Atlantic Ocean is home to a population of the Golden Lancehead Pit Viper, which can grow over a meter in length. Because of the dangers they pose, Brazil's navy has forbidden people to land on this island. And number 1. North Sentinel Island Here is one place that you shouldn't go, but even if you wanted to, you still can't. Well, you could, but you'd be met with arrows and spears. North Sentinel Island belongs to the country of India, and because the islanders seem to harm anyone who comes to the shore, it has stayed the last people in the world to have not been affected by modern civilization. The few photos that have come from the island show people who still live without electricity or any modern aspect of life. Wow, now that was a great video. You know where else to find some great videos? Right here on my channel, American Eye. I'll see you there.